Hey, what's up, YouTubers? And what's up to my friends and the rest of you bellends and dusty fannies out there? Thank you for returning to finish up shelves number four, five, six and a half for my steelbook collection. We're gonna go through and finish this up tonight. We left off here on shelf four, so let's just jump right into it and keep this thing rolling. If you guys hear some bangs and explosions in the background. I have neighbors across the street who are firing off fireworks tonight, so we will just have to deal with it. The first steelbook here is the dual format steelbook from Eureka in the UK. This is The Entity starring Barbara Hershey, supposedly based on a true story, haunted house type movie. Pretty decent watch, pretty fun. Next one is the anniversary edition of E.T. I don't know what anniversary it was. It might have been the 25th anniversary or the 20th anniversary. Actually, you know what, it was the 30th anniversary because the movie came out in 82 and it looks like this steelbook was released in 2012. So that's the 30th already. So I'm feeling old when I go through these movies. Next one is the UK edition of the original, The Evil Dead. I think that cover is beautiful. Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, good horror fun in the woods. Anything after that was pretty much silly. Part two and part three were just ridiculous. They're still fun to watch, but here is the US edition on Anchor Bay still book with the original cover. It's beautiful. There's Ashley Williams. Ash, played by the chin, the great Bruce Campbell. And then here was the dreadful remake. I was not a fan at all. I think the steelbook is pretty cool. I'll show you guys the inside. I'm sure most of you have this already. I think it's pretty cool with that kind of blood smear. It looks like it's just soaked in blood. Like I feel like I have to go wash my hands. But uh, it's a case where the steelbook to me was way better than the movie. Next one is The Fast and the Furious. Uh, another series I think is pretty ridiculous. They keep shitting them out and I think they're up to probably The Fast and the Furious 23 by now. They every, I put, think they put out two a year, so <laughs> keep moving on. This is the remake of The Fly, the David Cronenberg edition. Beautiful piece here. Jeff Goldblum. I think it's a case where the remake was better than the original. Here's another fun action film from my childhood, early 80s. Sylvester Stallone is John Rambo in First Blood. Some good sci-fi fun from the 60s. This is Forbidden Planet with Robbie the Robot. This was an exclusive to Entertainment Store. It was limited to 4,000 pieces. Very fun movie. If you guys haven't watched it, check that one out. Here's a Eureka Steelbook of Fright Night. Pretty fun little vampire film from the 80s. Here's the original Ghostbusters. I love this steelbook. And of course you gotta have Ghostbusters 2. And a movie I enjoyed. I know a lot of people kind of crapped on this movie. This is the all-female cast reboot of Ghostbusters. 
I had fun with it. I thought there was there were some pretty funny parts. I'm not saying it was better or even close to the originals, but I had fun with it for what it was worth. It's hard to, you know, stand up to the originals when those were so good and classic and iconic movies. So I think a lot of people expected that to be as good and it was never going to be, so. Here's a pretty cool anime called Ghost in the Shell. I like this one. This was put out by Anchor Bay. Looks like it's the 25th anniversary of it. Very cool. Okay, moving along here, we have G.I. Joe Retaliation 3D. This was a limited edition from 2013. I loved G.I. Joe growing up as a kid. G.I. Joe, the real American hero. G.I. Joe is there. This movie was not very good. This is a live action movie. I didn't really care too much for it. Here's a classic. The original The Godfather, part one. Starring the great Marlon Brando. Had an all-star cast. Love that movie. Here's one I still have yet to watch. I picked this one up on a whim. I thought the steelbook looked really good. It was pretty cheap. I think it was around 10 or 12 bucks. It's called Gods of Egypt. And I have yet to watch it. I'm not even sure what it's about I'm not sure if it's more on the biblical aspect but it's a three disc set get a 3d disc as well as a blu-ray and a DVD I believe here is Godzilla this was the one from a few years back I think like 2014 ish or 15 something like that 2014 it says here on the back it was okay, it was fun. This was a steelbook here, when you pushed a button it would roar, but the batteries are long dead on that. I have to try to open that up and find out if I can replace the battery in that. One of my favorite movies of all time, if not my very favorite, this is Goodfellas. And a lot of you know that uh, I got to know the real Henry Hill Toward the end of his life, I became friends with him. And that was really cool to get to know him a little bit before he passed away. Clint Eastwood in Grand Torino plays the old crabby guy. The guy I'm turning into. <laughs> Love Clint Eastwood. Here is Guardians of the Galaxy. I really like that steelbook. It's made to look like a Walkman, the cassette player. Pretty good movie too, I enjoy it. Some silly comedies. Hangover, The Hangover. And The Hangover 2. They're fun, fun movies. Here's a Michael Mann movie called Heat from the mid 90s, I think 95. All-star cast, you got Pacino, <coughs> excuse me, Pacino, De Niro, and Kilmer. And also, let's see, uh, Tom Sizemore is in here, John Voight, and the lovely Ashley Judd. She looked really good in that movie. That's the U.S. version on Steelbook, and here is the U.K. edition of the same film. Hellboy which I really enjoyed this movie. Watched it with my kids. We had a good time with it. And Hellboy 2, limited edition. I wish they would have continued this little franchise here. I really enjoyed those movies. Here's a Chinese movie starring Jet Li called Hero. And you'll notice at the top it says Quentin Tarantino Presents. And the reason for that is because when this movie was made, I believe in 2003, somewhere around there, it was uh, 
at the time, it was the most expensive movie to make in China. But it couldn't get a release here in the U.S. for some reason. And Quentin Tarantino kind of petitioned to have this released in the U.S. And two years after it was made, it was finally released in the U.S. to some acclaim. I mean, it was... Um, some of the critics enjoyed it. The fans seemed to enjoy it. It wasn't like a blockbuster, but it was. It made some pretty good money. So that's how Quentin Tarantino got the presents at the top of that one. So moving into the next one, it's a pretty funny movie. I really enjoy the collaborations between Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. And this is just one of maybe four or five I, off the top of my head. This is Hot Fuzz from the producers of Shaun of the Dead, and I really enjoy this movie. I think it's hilarious. I love the British humor, and those two guys have a really good chemistry together. So, Next one is the DVD edition of I Am Legend, and this is a remake, I believe, of Omega Man, starring Charlton Heston, I believe, from the 60s. And this is a good movie. And so I upgraded it to Blu-ray. This is the same movie, just on Blu-ray. Best Buy exclusive, Steelbook. Thought Will Smith did a really good job in the movie. Next one is called Immortal. I don't really remember a lot about this movie or even how I got that. I think I got that in a lot and it was included. And I don't even remember if I watched that one or not. Here's a sci-fi goodness called Interstellar, starring Matthew McConaughey, who is one of my favorite actors. This was a Target exclusive, and I think it came with a cell, a film cell from the movie. So that's pretty cool. And it was a three-disc set. Enjoy that movie quite a bit. Here's the original. Stephen King's It. This is the original miniseries from the early 90s. Had, uh, Tim Curry played Pennywise in this one. This is a UK steelbook. And I have the remake from a couple years ago. This is chapter one. I have yet to see chapter two, even though I loved part one. I thought this was so much better than the original from the 90s. It's not even close, in my opinion. This is a kind of a fun, modern horror film called It Follows. I had a good time with this one. Put up by Anchor Bay. Here's another series that just won't stop. And I like this series quite a bit more than the uh, Too Fast and Furious movies, but this was one that was just trying to cash in on the series name, I think. It wasn't really that great. It's a classic from the 90s, Jurassic Park. Everybody knows that one. Another one everybody knows. I love this movie, The Karate Kid. And it's fun to see that they're still kind of um, uh, producing the legacy of some of these guys are still playing in the, it was like a Netflix series, Cobra Kai, I think it's called. I have yet to see them, but all these guys are older now. And here is Kill Bill, volume one. Fun movies over the top. And Kill Bill, volume two. Here is a serial killer three pack with movies that include Ed Gein, John Wayne Gacy, and Jeffrey Dahmer. And they each come on their own disc. Next one is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Really cool cover.
Here's the Peter Jackson remake of King Kong, beautiful edition, love the movie. Comes with two versions, the extended and theatrical cut. Here's another really fun movie, cool looking steelbook, Kung Fu Hustle. Another one of my favorites, going back to my childhood, Jim Henson's Labyrinth. Starring the great David Bowie. Very, very fun movie. Vin Diesel is the last witch hunter. Kind of a poor man's witcher. Still enjoyed the movie though. And the last one for this shelf is one of my favorite Alfred Hitchcock movies, Lifeboat. And this is a beautiful steelbook put out by Eureka. Look at that painted cover. That's a thing of beauty right there. So that was it for shelf number four. Stick around and we will go through shelf five. Okay, so let us continue to shelf five. And the first title here is Another movie I have, still have yet to watch, even though it's highly recommended by a lot of people. This is a British movie. I believe it is a British action comedy, from what I understand. I will watch this soon. I'm sure many of you have seen it already, and that is Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. It's a Rob Zombie film called The Lords of Salem with a witchcraft horror theme to it. Here's a modern western, a remake of a classic. This is The Magnificent Seven. Enjoyed the movie, thought it was good. Here is The Mummy, the Brendan Fraser Mummy, which eh, it's mm, not my favorite. I really don't care too much for that franchise. Here's a good suspense thriller. This is a Best Buy exclusive, Nightcrawler, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Blu-ray DVD combo. Mondo. Here's the original slasher film from 1984. Nightmare on Elm Street, Les Craven classic, one of my favorite horror films of all time. Tom Cruise sci-fi, end of the world type movie, Oblivion. I had some fun with it. It's a pretty cool steelbook, very glossy. Here's a horror classic starring Gregory Peck, The Omen. This is the DVD steelbook. Here's a pretty good splatter flick called The Orphan Killer, a Matt Farnsworth film. And this one I helped to crowdfund. And we got this beautiful steel book and it was all signed up. There's a TOK that stands for The Orphan Killer. Farnsworth signed it up there. And this is a Blu-ray and comes with the CD soundtrack. It says it's banned in Germany. It's a pretty good splatter gore flick. Here's another comedy from the British duo of Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Paul. I thought this was another great movie. It comes with two cuts of the film. You get the unrated and the theatrical. Beautiful movie and beautiful steelbook from Mondo again. This is the ultra Blu-ray and regular Blu-ray. Came with a digital copy. This is the original Pet Cemetery. Excellent movie. Next one is the Chronicles of Riddick. Eh, wasn't really a big fan of this franchise either. You get two cuts of the film, unrated and theatrical. A 
one of my favorite movies of all time, The Princess Bride. This is a good twin billing with the movie Willow. And they both came out around the same time. I believe this movie here came out in 1987. And Willow came out about a year after 1988. And they're both instant classics. They were instant classics at the time. And 30 years later, 30 plus years later, they're still great. Speaking of classic, here's Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho from 1960. My favorite Tarantino picture, this is Pulp Fiction. I can quote this mo movie verbatim, line for line. Absolutely love the movie. Here's one I haven't watched yet, but it's still, it's on my, near the top of my list to watch soon. This is A Quiet Place. John Krasinski directed this movie. And I heard it's good. I just haven't gotten around to watching it yet. Here is the, I believe this is Second Sight from probably 10 years ago now. This is the original Reanimator. And then from Germany, from Cape Light, it's Reanimator 1 and 2. And this was a pretty hot little ticket here when this came out. It sold out pretty quick. You got some Resident Evil films here. This is the CGI, the animated movie called Degeneration. Blu-ray. And then I have the some of the live action. I think I'm missing one, but I have the first one, Resident Evil. Resident Evil Apocalypse. These are in order. Resident Evil Extinction. Pretty sweet cover. Resident Evil Afterlife. Resident Evil Retribution and then the one I'm missing is the last one which came out a couple years ago I don't remember what it was called but it was supposed to be the final and there is a steelbook for it I just haven't gotten around to picking it up just yet so but being a completionist I will definitely pick that up completist completionist I, whatever you guys know what I mean and here is uh, Second Sight, The Return of the Living Dead. This was another hot ticket. This one sold out pretty quick. This one came out a long time ago, too. 2012. Here is The Revenant. I imported this one. I think it was Scandinavian. I can't remember if I picked this up from one of these Scandinavian countries, or if it was from the UK. Here's a metal pack of Saving Private Ryan. Beautiful movie. Awesome steelbook. Or metal pack, because it has the little hinges. A couple editions here of Scarface. Here's the limited edition, the real glossy paint job. I have another one here with the cocaino lines there on the front. And I have the limited edition with the comic book cover from Universal. I have a couple editions here of Scott Pilgrim versus the world. We had fun with this. I watched this with my oldest daughter. Pretty fun film. And here's the comic book limited edition got an edition here of serenity one of my favorite movies of all time one of the best endings ever best by exclusive of seven starring brad pitt and of course morgan freeman love that movie 
couple editions here of Shaun of the Dead. There's the limited edition comic book cover. I have another edition. This is another US edition. And I got a beautiful UK landscape edition. This is long out of print and I think this one fetches a pretty penny these days. I'm not sure. Kind of reposition myself here. We have another, maybe one of the best movies ever made. I, I think still to this day, it's the highest rated movie on IMDb. It's about as close to perfect a film as you'll ever find. And I agree, it, it's one of my favorites of all time. This is the Shawshank Redemption. A very long movie, but very worth it. I think this one's over three hours long, pretty close beautiful movie. I have Silent Running, another UK film from Eureka. Another kind of a comic book film noir type film, Sin City. Pretty good action to that one. I think this is another Scandinavian release here. This is Snowpiercer. Pretty, pretty much a fun movie. It's a, it's a thrilling ride about that uh, train that won't stop and it keeps uh, climbing speed. And they have to try to figure out how to stop it before they kill people or themselves. Here is Star Trek, the remake. This is the J.J. Abrams, beautiful movie. Love it. I got Star Trek Into Darkness. The second one in the remake series. And Star Trek Beyond. All very, very good movies. Stargate, starring Kurt Russell and James Spader. Some more sci fi goodness. And the last one for the shelf is the kind of, I guess, documentary of uh, NWA in Straight Outta Compton. Still have yet to watch this. But that is it for Shelf 5. We will check out the Arrow video titles on Shelf 6. And then I have a little bit of like a half shelf. We'll finish it up, so stick around. Okay, so let's move up here to a whole different shelf. And these, these are the Arrow video still books that I have. I have a lot of them, but not all of them. So you may see some that I'm missing. As always, if you would like to comment and suggest movies to me that I'm missing, I'm always glad to take these suggestions. Let me pull this back a little bit and we'll create a little room here. And the first one is Takashi Miike's Audition. Next one is Battle Royale. Fulci Classic, The Beyond, probably one of the best covers in my opinion. There's a fun 80s action adventure type film. This is Big Trouble in Little China. John Carpenter film. There's a Mario Bava film called Black Sunday from the 60s. Another Bava. This one is called Blood and Black Lace. Here's a movie I had a lot of fun with. This is a Brian De Palma film starring John Travolta called Blowout. Kind of a whodunit type movie. Pretty suspenseful. Keeps you on the edge of your seat. I, I like that movie quite a bit. Here's another one. I love this movie going back to my childhood. Tom Hanks in The Burbs. Joe Dante film. Very fun movie. It has a, a lot of rewatchability to it. 
and I do watch that one quite a bit. If not every year, every other, every couple of years, I watch that. Here's a good slasher film from the early '80s, *The Burning*. Back with slasher. Another Fulci classic. Another beautiful cover. *City of the Living Dead*. One of the earliest and classic George A. Romero zombie films in Day of the Dead. And this is the third in the Dead trilogy. Yeah, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and then Day of the Dead. Here's uh, Lamberto Bava, son of Mario Bava, and this is a Demons and Demons 2 steelbook. Has both of the films on there. It's an Abel Ferrara movie, Driller Killer. One of my favorite covers, The Fall of the House of Usher, based on an Edgar Allan Poe story starring Vincent Price. There's some 70s black exploitation starring the lovely, gorgeous, and sexy Pam Greer, Foxy Brown. Here's the original Wes Craven classic, The Hills Have Eyes. Some backwoods cannibals. Next one here is Argento's Inferno. Here is the remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This one's from the 70s, 78. Let's see if I can kind of push these back here. Hold on a second. Continuing on, we have Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Another very silly but entertaining horror comedy from the 80s. And then Everything Blue did a collaboration with Aero Video and they did a really beautiful slip cover, slip box here with the Killer Clown Steelbook on the inside. And these were ultra limited. I think they were limited to 300. I got number 259. Really highly collectible piece. Sold out very fast and uh, was highly sought after. Christopher Walken in King of New York. Good little kind of an, an action mob movie from the late 80s, 1989. Filmed in old New York. Next one is a twin billing, I believe. And this is Lady Snowblood and Lady Snowblood Love Song of Vengeance. You get both movies here on the steelbook. And these movies were from the early 70s, 1973 and 1974 for those two films. Very over the top, very, very bloody movies. Toby Hooper's Life Force, an 80s outer space vampire movie. Very enjoyable. a British movie, The Long Good Friday. Maniac Cop, over the top killer cop movie from the 80s. It's a William Lustig movie and uh, Bruce Campbell is in here. Brian De Palma's Phantom of the Paradise. Argento's Phenomena. Another Edgar Allan Poe adaptation. The Pit and the Pendulum. Another beautiful cover. I really love those uh, 
landscape style covers and with that old painted cover that they would have had back in the 60s to promote their films on the theatrical posters. Here's one I still to this day can't understand why Arrow put this on Steelbook, but there's Porky's, classic American comedy. Here's Cronenberg's Rabid. Another enjoyable movie, I, I like it. Here's another Cronenberg. This is Shivers. Terry Gilliam's Time Bandits from the mind, the great minds of the Monty Python troupe. Very fun movie. Here's another landscape. Theater of Blood. More comedy than anything else in that movie. Here's Carpenters of the Thing, Steelbook. Here's Argento's Tenebrae, very good and kind of an underrated Argento film. Not too many people talk about that one. Here is White of the Eye. Film from 1986. Serial killer movie in a small town. And the last one on this shelf from Arrow Video is Zombie Flesh Eaters, another beautiful cover. One of the best covers in my collection, in my opinion. This is another kind of a rare piece. So we will finish up on one more shelf. It's just like a little half shelf. So let me pause it here and stay tuned for that last little half shelf. Okay, so here we are on the final half shelf here. And before we get into this, I just want to talk a little bit about, you know, some of these videos that I've been making like uh, some of the collection overviews. And it seems like I get a decent fair amount of views per video. I think I get, you know, roughly a thousand views per video, give or take a couple hundred, sometimes more, sometimes less. But I'm not pimping for thumbs up, but I usually only get at the max like 70 thumbs up out of a thousand views. So if you guys would like to see more of these videos, if you enjoy them, I encourage you to hit the thumbs up and let me know that you would like to see more. Otherwise, I could find something better to do for an hour of recording and uploading if you guys don't enjoy the videos that much. I don't mean to sound disrespectful or, or anything like that. So, and I'm not like, again, I'm not pimping for thumbs up. It would just help me know if you guys appreciate these videos to give it a thumbs up. And uh, I usually don't bring that up, but if you could do that, I would appreciate that. So, let's get into this last little bit here. I also want to say too though that uh, the 60 and 70 thumbs up I get, I do appreciate those and it's probably the same guys and gals who are doing it. I just want to give a shout out to you guys because um, you know it, it means a lot to me that you take the time to watch and comment and hit the thumbs up. So let's get into the last little bit here and the first one is Sucker Punch. This one's going to be a little tricky to do because the shelf is pretty slippery. And I'm going to have to try to find a way to maybe slide some of these over and just do them a few at a time, I think. Might be the best way to do that. So that was Sucker Punch. I don't really remember a whole lot about this one. I did watch it when it first came out, which was uh, probably six or seven years ago now. It is a Zack Snyder film, and I do really love Zack Snyder. He's a, a fellow Wisconsinite from Green Bay. Here is Suicide Squad, another movie that was uh, okay. I, I'm not really into the superhero in, in that genre. Here's J.J. Uh, Abrams and Steven Spielberg in Super 8, a beautiful movie, kind of like Goonies and uh, Stranger Things type vibe to it. Coming of age, sci-fi, stuff like that. 
Here's T2, Judgment Day. Probably my favorite in the franchise. My favorite Western of all time, one of them. Definitely top three. The Outlaw Josie Wales, Tombstone. These are excellent movies. There's the Earp Boys with uh, Doc Holliday. You got Wyatt and Virgil and Morgan and Doc Holliday. Excellent movie. Here is a Michael Bay film, Transformers, Age of Extinction. Eh, it was, it was okay, so-so. Here's a movie called Trauma, DVD still book. It's about a, uh, a guy who gets in a car accident in the beginning of the film with his wife, and he gets put into a coma, and she dies. And when he comes out of the coma, he has to battle with visions and he doesn't know if they're reality or all in his mind one of those type of movies here's a western american western classic true grit the original starring the duke john wayne excellent movie <clears throat> the next one here is a modern sci-fi post-apocalyptic type movie Turbo Kid, and I really enjoyed this movie. This would be a good twin billing with the Don Johnson movie, A Boy and His Dog. It'd be a perfect twin billing. Both post apoc movies, and they're both fun watches. So I have um, a few of the Underworld movies. I think I may be missing one, I'm not sure. But here's the original Underworld. Here is Underworld Evolution. These should be in order. Here's Underworld Awakening. And Underworld Rise of the Lycans. There may be one in between that I'm missing. If anybody knows and you want to comment, go ahead and leave a comment below. Here's a comic book style film, V for Vendetta. Starring the lovely Natalie Portman from the creators of the Matrix trilogy. I had fun with this movie, Van Helsing. Again, starring the lovely Kate Beckinsale from the Underworld series. Classic monster movie. Here is Angelina Jolie in Wanted. This is the comic book limited edition cover. Another Tom Cruise movie, War of the Worlds. I had fun with it. I thought it was a decent movie. Here's a classic. This is another one I watch almost every year, if not every other year. This is The Wizard of Oz. I think this is a three disc set. It comes with a Blu-ray and a 3D Blu-ray. And then the third disc, I believe, maybe a DVD. One of the best movies ever made. Here's a UK edition of Wolf Cop. Silly comedy, but I have fun with it. I have a lot of fun with that, actually. Have yet to see Wolf Cop 2. Here is Wrath of the Titans, which is the sequel to the remake of Clash of the Titans, starring Sam Worthington. I have a couple of the X-Men movies, but not all of them. But the ones I have are in order. I have X2, X-Men Unlimited. Don't have the first one. I have X-Men The Last Stand, which is the third in the trilogy, in the original trilogy. And then there's a couple extras here. X-Men Origins Wolverine. These are kind of like spin-offs, I think. And X-Men Days of Future Past. Another classic, a Mel Brooks film, 40th anniversary of Young Frankenstein, starring Gene Wilder. Marty Feldman. <laughs> Excellent movie, very fun. A couple more here, guys. Here's Brad Pitt in World War Z. Big fan of Brad Pitt. 
thought this movie was okay. It wasn't great. It was still fun. And the last one from my Steelbook collection is another one of my favorite movies of all time. This is the Best Buy exclusive of Zodiac, the director's cut. And not very many people talk about this. It's another David Fincher movie. And I love this movie. It's very long. It's I'd say it's close to three hours again, maybe. But it's definitely worth a watch if you've never seen that before. So that was it, guys. Thank you very much for sticking with me and watching my Steelbook collection. Hit that thumbs up. Show me a little support. Let me know if you'd like to see more of my collection in future videos. Take care, and I will see you in the next video. Later.